Hey, yo, man, if you're trying to promote yourself to the whole New York City and beyond, get at me. You heard my promo prices is the greatest in the nation, baby. The greatest in the nation. Send me an email at thegenpopllc at gmail.com or hit me up on Instagram. Type in St. Laz, S-T-L-A-Z on Instagram and get at me. It's like God of guns, which is better protection. Can't decide. That's a hard one. Ayo, peace to all the guards and earths out there. Peace to the guard of Law C. Divine from out of Asbury Park, New Jersey. You heard? If you from New Jersey, hit them comments up. Let me know what town, what city, what block, what ave, what street you repping out in New Jerusalem. You heard? Comment, gang, you already snow goggles. Tear this up. You heard? Z Man Suicide Polo with the ski man running around the hood like he man. Let's get it. I watched the Mexicans and the Latin Kings get it on in Canaan. You see what I'm saying? Like, I watch them get, I watch niggas like, yo, we gotta go to the gym real quick. Next thing you know, what's up? I'm seeing niggas need the gym with stretching material, bruh. So the Latin Kings, they be Latin Kings from all over the country being one car? Yeah. Yeah. They even had Black Latin King. I, I didn't know that until I got to the feds. Hmm. Facts. Latin Kings from everywhere, bro. Once it's up, it's up. And you said it was it was it was officially Black Latin Kings in there. Yeah, his name was Sarge. That's a fact, though. Where he was from? From Philly. The last thing we were speaking about was the situation where them dudes was trying to find out did that kid tell or not. Oh yeah, yeah, I I see what you're saying. Cause what I was saying was that when even though even if dude had not been right it still sends a message to the people that I grew up with like yo I, we understand that he may have been wrong I'm not saying dude had done anything foul cause it wasn't never solidified and never got a chance to get out but had somebody did something to him yeah I do I come home 13 and a half years later they be like yo bro you was there when that shit happened yeah what happened then you you gonna have to find yourself explaining that shit a whole bunch of times and you're not gonna really want to. So when all that shit was really coming up about him, whether he told or not, just so fortunately he left the jail. How he did it, I don't know. I didn't even ask no question. He pulled up one one day like, yo, bro, I'm out. I'm on the next ship and moving, going to Butner. I was like, yo, cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, this is the beginning of my bid. This is this. This is the long, this is about to be a long journey. So now he leaving. As he leaving, I got two other co-defendants that come in. You know what I'm saying? One of them moved into the cell with me because he moved on my unit. Um, Another one, he moved on the other side of the jail. He wasn't even a co-defendant. He would just like, off another case from around the way. Um. And, and then that he was um, from around the way, you know, he was still like a like a homie. So it didn't, it didn't even matter. But what happened was they started speculating. They started speculating about the dude that was in the cell with me, whether he had told or not. So you know me, I go again. Like, yo, bro, they asking about you. What's up with your paperwork? I'm good, bro. I, I, this, that, and the third. So I'm like, all right, legit. So I'm not really worrying about it. You know what I'm saying? So once he told me he ain't telling, in my head, he ain't telling. I ain't really tripping about no paperwork. I'm going to take his word for it. So when I when I told the the, 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 the table or the car, the jersey car, like, yo, he good, bro. So once they say, yo, you seen paperwork, I vouch for it. He showed me some shit that was really not no shit to be showing, but I vouch for him. You see what I'm saying? I'm not vouching that he's right. 
because he may have told. But I'm just eliminating drama on my end, bro, because I know how this shit go. Because if shit get real thick, these niggas might choose me to hit them. You see what I'm saying? Mm. I ain't gonna want to hit dude. I'm no dude. But if something happened to him outside of me that I can't control, it, it, it is what it is. Because I'm not about to go go to war for some shit that I don't know if it's true or if it's not true. I just know stay stay far away from it because this fed shit different from me being in a state. My state bid, like I like I said, I deal with everybody anyway. And that's how I was in the feds. So I'm, I'm just I'm cool like that with people. But my state bid is that you really ain't gotta mess with nobody. I ain't in no gang. I'm one of the gods. So I navigate through the jail different. Everybody jail story is gonna be different. I don't be having a lot of issues. So I'm carrying that same mentality to the feds, but now in the feds, if somebody in your car got an issue, basically the car got an issue. And I wasn't really feeling that. You see what I'm saying? That's some that's some real petty shit to me. Like, yo, this dude could be in the wrong, last. Like, this what I don't like, I'll be hearing the dude that be coming on your on your on your podcast and they be saying like, yo, when the dude right or wrong, we about to go ride out because we men. Yo, that's bogus as fuck. Because if I go out here and go to war for a dude who in the wrong, what he gonna tell my kids? What they gonna tell my family? I, t- I mean, I-, I died an honorable death. Nah, they ain't legit to me. This dude was wrong. And y'all clearly know he was wrong. So you telling me I gotta go out here and risk my life for a dude that y'all know them did some fuck shit? Nah, I ain't doing it. I ain't coming out. And I don't care what nobody say. Now, if my homie in the right, bro, I'm outside. And niggas have vouched for that. I've been in the face with these niggas. Probably niggas who come on these podcasts and see my picture. Oh, yeah, I was with this. I was with son. Son of stand-up dude in the feds. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was with Ken Dude. I was with a lot of these dudes that everybody be coming up here name-dropping. But they don't be having personal relationships with these dudes they be name-dropping. If a dude get a hold of Ken Dude, I'm like, yo, you know C. Devon from Asbury Park? Just watch the praise I get. He not the only one. My nigga Storm out the BX. He got life plus 20. Staying from Harlem. Just came home from doing all that time. Know what I'm saying? Like, get in contact with these dudes. What Storm dude, you talking about? He plays Spanish? Nah, he, he could be. He black. Know what I'm saying? He called this case out. He called this case out of that Baltimore um, and D.C. area back in the early 90s. Mm. 91 to 92 to be exact. These, these are my dudes behind the wall. Bro. I remember I, when I first coming to the feds, I'm not in these medium and these lows. Even though I had got my way down to there, I started off behind the wall in the pens. So even though I got 15 years, 16 years, all my right hand man, some of them got life. Like dudes I'm running with got life. Like my dude Trees, he had 20. He was the only one that was in our circle that I, when I was hanging with outside of my jersey car, that had a number like me. And he had that in there and he was about to go home. So now I'm dealing with life as a bro, but when you dealing with life as a bro, you take on life <laughs> issues too though. And a lot of people don't be knowing that. Like you, if you behind this, these fed walls and you got a number that you know you got an outdate and you're running with lifers, when them dudes catch an issue, you catch the same issue that they catch. Cause that's, your, that's the team you moving with behind the wall. But I see, I, I accept that though because I'm not gonna be fucking with you if I'm not gonna go to bat for you or you ain't gonna go to bat for me like that. So when I'm behind the wall, yeah, I'm with my car. Don't get it fucked up. I'm with the Jersey car, and it'd be bigger than the Jersey car too because Jersey and New York, you know, they they somewhat roll together, last. Mm. Depending depending on how the jail is and the climate of the Jersey and the New York friction. Well, there ain't no friction between Jersey and New York because there do be friction. We It's all love and we'll we mash somebody out. So we don't really be worrying about when dudes like, yo, they be going up against the D.C. car. It'll probably be Jersey and New York. It be it, it go down like that sometimes. Or sometimes each state to stay out of it. Like, you know what? That's, that's a Jersey issue. Let them deal with it. Or that's a New York issue. Let them deal with it. But men who fuck with men like that, they ain't going out like that, bro. So that's how... The diplomacy comes into play with the cars. Like, yeah, I right, he's from Jersey, but everybody deal with him. So they're going to be the diplomatic in how they deal with you if, if some type of shit got to come down 
down the pipe on you. Like yo, what you violated, but yo, you gonna get a pass or this I I or just just go go shake the gate. And they might make you shake the gate without getting stabbed. Shit like that. So when you behind these walls, like when I was in Canaan, I had to, that's how I had to play it, bro. I kept lifers around me. Even, even though I fuck with dudes who ain't had life, I kept lifers around me because these niggas ain't really got nothing to lose. And if they fuck with you, they fuck with you. They fuck with you. And I got niggas from everywhere that was lifers that fuck with me. My nigga Diesel out of Baltimore. My nigga Moneybag out of Baltimore. My nigga Paige Hill from D.C. A nigga bump from DC. Yeah, I could go. I could go state to state, naming real dudes that got like that dealt with me, even out of New York. But I don't see no need to name drop. These dudes know who they is. I was around all these dudes, man. Heavy hitters out of Jersey, heavy hitters out of New York, Baltimore, Philly, DC, Virginia, North Carolina. I've been name them. I've been around them. I've been behind. I've been in the pens. A lot of these dudes navigating through the mediums and the lows. So my days in Canaan, <laughs> after my man leave, I'm still there for, for a year or two. Now they realize, like, yo, dude, this dude don't give us no issues. Let's send them. I guess they call themselves sending me closer to home, which I'm still in Pennsylvania. I go from USP Allenwood to US, no, from USP Canaan to USP Allenwood. And when I get to USP Allenwood, that's where I start meeting all the real OGs out of New York. Like, Paul himself, you know, though. Who you said was the most dominant car in Canaan? Um, when I was in Canaan, the most dominant car, like they had the most heads on the compound, was DC. But you know, we had a big car too. We we had we, Jersey and New York had numbers, but DC just was thicker. You see what I'm saying? Like if it was an issue on the compound that didn't involve like New Jersey, DC, or New York, you kind of was all right. But even with that, though, the gangs is there though. So you 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 gotta count those as cars too though. So you got the bloods, you got the crypts, you got the GDs, you got the vice lords, you got the Mexican, all the Mexican games, and you got the white boys. So let me ask like, you this. If if it's a blood car, sometimes it be bloods from all over different states in one blood car. Yeah. That's a fact. That's so it be man, New York fact. bloods, LA bloods, and they all be messing with each other? True. See, this will see some dudes will come up here and paint a different narrative, but when you it, it, it's it, it's gonna always be shit in the air because it's shit in the air from outside that come behind the wall. Like New York Bloods don't fuck with East Coast Bloods. You know, don't see all that West Coast shit. Like they don't fuck with each other. Nah, my nigga Homicide with Compton Paru and he hung with the Jersey Bloods hard body. You see what I'm saying? Mm. We, was in, we was in this spot called McDowell in West Virginia. My nigga Homicide from Cali. You see what I'm saying? Like, he really was rocking with us. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was a, he was a real blood. And he was respecting that shit. And it's the same way when niggas from out east go to the West Coast. They, you gonna always hear motherfuckers, oh, they don't respect it. They don't respect East Coast blood. That's, that's bullshit. The West Coast bloods respect Pistol Pete and them niggas, man, to the utmost. I've been around them bloods from the West Coast. They, they didn't, they, I didn't heard them. Like, I don't know about a lot of them, the majority of them saying, but the ones I've been around, so yo, they respect what, what niggas did. They took it and they made it their own. And I said, oh, I, I don't care. One way or the other, it, just, it is what it is, but behind the wall, these are the cars that you got to navigate through. And that shit get dangerous, man. But when I went to USP Allenwood, you really, I really don't worry about shit like that because you basically in your backyard. It's gonna be a lot of Philly niggas there. Well, Pennsylvania niggas, period. Pennsylvania niggas. It's gonna be a lot of Jersey. It's gonna be a lot of New York. It's gonna be a lot of DC. You gonna get those four main cars when you on the East Coast. You gonna get those main cars. You gonna sprinkle in Boston. You gonna sprinkle in Connecticut. You gonna sprinkle in Delaware. And though you gonna get Baltimore too. They gonna be kind of thick. But like the little cities, they they could be big city or big states. Like Boston is a big state to me. But they don't be having numbers behind the wall like that. Like they don't got a big car when you be behind the wall. Like if they get an issue with a Jersey car and they get when niggas got to mash the gas on Boston, they ain't gonna have the numbers. They gonna have some soldiers that's gonna go out with a bang, but they're not gonna have enough numbers. And that's how DT that's how DC overwhelm niggas because they usually be having the numbers. They got the bodies to sit at you. 
you might got some goonies in your in your in your car that's going to go, but the numbers going to be overwhelming when DC get the rolling. They're going to shut the jail down. That's just how that shit go. But if if the numbers is even, or somehow the numbers is even, it's going to be a good go. And that goes for any car. When you in your backyard, you know you got numbers. The only motherfucker that might arrive with your numbers, even when you're in your backyard, going to be DC. Because you hit Farrington, Jersey got the car. Jersey got the, the compound. They gonna have numbers, but next to that gonna be DC, then New York. Same way in Allenwood. Even though Allenwood and Pennsylvania, they not gonna be the thickest car in there, but Pennsylvania gonna be divided. Pittsburgh, you gonna have um, Philly. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be divided. Like in Jersey, this is a Jersey car from the top to the bottom. All the way from the top, from Patterson touching New York, Fort Lee, all the way to the bottom, Camden going across to Philly. That's the whole car. It's not divided. When you get these other states, like how you got New York, it's one car, but you know within that car, y'all got the boroughs. So niggas be moving out like that too. Like we don't fuck with Queens niggas or Queens niggas. We don't fuck with Harlem niggas. But when shit gets serious, that car, I don't watch New York car form on niggas, man. That's a fact though. In Allenwood, I don't watch that shit. I don't watch that shit get shaken. One thing I said about the, the, the real New York goonies that I was coming in contact with, lad, they was really on it. What you mean they popped off with New York and who in Allenwood? Um, you know it's gonna always be some shit like um New York and DC because you know they be the two major cars, bro. I don't care what nobody say about the feds unless you out west on east on the east coast. I don't care if you going into the south. D.C. and New York is going to be the two dominant cars, man. That's just how it is. And they know they're going to clash sometimes. They're going to clash. They want to show, they're going to show who the, who the baddest out here. That's how that fed should be designed. To, like, that fed shit don't be designed to help niggas. That shit be designed to fuck niggas over because niggas want to show who got the biggest and best car in the B.O.P. So DC get a lot of flat because they do raise a lot of hell, bro. But I respect about them dudes. They ain't going for a lot of shit. From no Mexicans, from nobody. But I done seen certain cars, the, the Mexican gangs, bro. Or Mexican gangs run them niggas off compounds. Run them off compounds. Like, what I you mean? Know. The Mexican cars, they, it, it, it be a Mexican car or just straight gang cars that's Mexican? Nah, see, see, the Mexican cars got gangs, but in all in all, when it's a race war or they going against black, it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna, it ain't, it ain't gonna matter. Cause once the race war, once the Mexicans, cause you can't tell who black, they don't know who black from DC or they don't know who black from New York unless they want to mess on. They be like that's the New York table right there, and they they try to get at the table. But as far as being on that compound, bro, they they gonna pick a motherfucker, bro, and it's gonna set off like that. Cause you, you like I was. In, I remember being in Allenwood one time, and I don't know gang politics, but I know gang politics. I just know it ain't really my business. Put it that way. I'm leaving the school in Canaan. It's, it's, it's cold out. We get blizzards up there, so it's snow everywhere. And as I'm walking, I see three motherfuckers. It's like they fighting. So you know, I don't give a fuck. Let them fight. I'm just trying to get to my dorm because it's cold out. This motherfucker. I'm trooping. But then when I realized, bro, they were stabbing this nigga. Two niggas was working, there was two vice lords working another vice lord, they was trying to check in. Bro, they was working them with these knives. I just started running. So this nigga like, what you running for? Nigga, I'm trying to get to the door before the door closed automatically, but I'm not trying to lay on the ground in the snow. They could come lock me up for running. I'm just not trying to lay on this ground in the snow, bro. They would bro, there was so much red shit in the snow, bro. I was like, yo, he gotta be dead. I watched the Latin, I watched the Mexicans and the Latin Kings get it on in Canaan. You see what I'm saying? Like, I watch them get, I watch niggas like, yo, we gotta go to the gym real quick. Next thing you know, it's up. I'm seeing niggas need the gym with stretching material, bro. You said the Latin Kings and the Mexicans? Yeah. So the Latin the Kings, they be Latin Kings from all over the country being one car? Yeah. Yeah. They even had Black Latin King. I, I didn't know that until I got to the feds. Hmm. Facts. Latin Kings from everywhere, bro. Once it's up, it's up. But you, but you know, but one thing I say about the Latin King car, like, I ain't met a lot of Chicago Latin Kings, so most of the Kings that I know are from this up up the way. And you said it was it was it was officially Black Latin Kings in there. 
Yeah. His name was Sarge. That's a fact, though. Yeah, his name was Sarge. Where he was from? From Philly. I've, heard, I've, Philly. I've heard of some black Latin kings. I've heard in New York. I've never seen it before until I got seen him. Like, he fuck with them? Like, now he a king. They, 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 they king the men. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I always thought they was really kind of hated blacks. But I was like, damn, most of them used to have knowledge themselves, so I was really unsure. But when I seen the black man king, I was like, ah, they, they cool. Like, they got black and within their ranks, but they all right with me. So you said it jumped off between them and the Mexicans? Yeah, I don't know what the issue was, but it was a few Latin kings on my unit that I fucked with. And then, then the dude Sarge was on my unit, and there was one nigga from Connecticut named Vic. And they was like, I was cool. They're like, yo, we about to go. And the dude who was doing my tattoo named Sam, he was from Connecticut. He like, yo, bro, I'm going to finish this shit when I come back from the gym. I'm like, all right, bro, you know, I ain't tripping. No, we in a unit together. Bro, no, that, that move, soon they get in the gym and it's up. The move not even over yet, it's up. They shut the compound down. So we don't really know what's shaking in the gym. Then they just start shaking on the units. So I'm like, oh. So, no, man, listen, I don't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm getting in my cell, but I don't even want to see niggas get butchered. That ain't even my mindset to watch niggas go out like that. But it's two Latin groups going at each other. It's the Mexican side and it's the Latin King side. It's, that's Latin America to me. It has, it has nothing to do with me. So I'm locking in. Let me get my ice and get whatever I get. But as I'm looking out my window, bro, they got stretches coming out on top of stretches. So I'm like, yo, they must have went down there and had a bloodbath. You said that so was in just, Canaan? Yeah, that was in Canaan. And niggas was snapping, because this is right around like 06 or 07 in Canaan. Because Canaan a new jail. Canaan don't open to around 04 or 05, bro. You see what I'm saying? So when you got a jail like that, and it's a USP, niggas is jockeying for a position on the compound, bro. Who run what part of the yard? Who going to sit where? How the mess hall going to operate? What the, what the climate of the jail going to be? Is it going to be diplomatic or is it going to be war? You see what I'm saying? You never know day to day in these pens, bro. And you got to lock your door with belts and batteries so a motherfucker just can't yank your door open. Yeah. So when they told me I was leaving the USP going to a medium, on my mother, I was happy. Word is bound because you never know day to day in the USPs and the federal penitentiary if it's going to be your last. Because niggas just be getting picked sometimes. Like when the Aryan Brotherhood having an initiation, you don't just get in. You got to go put something down. And the average motherfucker they're going to put down going to be black. You what see you what mean? I'm saying? They got to body something or just hit something? They got to body something, bro. And anybody who say I'm lying, get them on here. Whoever's behind the wall, meet Mecca Audio. All that dude that's coming home, Lou Hobbs, I was in them jails with these dudes, bro. They're going to tell you the same thing. They got to pick a dude, and he's going to be black, and they're going to put him down, bro. It's going to be chaos after, but that's how the initiation go. I remember when they say it, like, yo, bro, nobody, no black body, no black dude want to come alone today. The Aryan Brotherhood having an initiation. That's a fact. No black dude can't walk by himself, bro. Aryan Brotherhood having an initiation. And I know, I know a lot of tough niggas, but bro, that shit, that shit, sitting chills to my body. Like what? Like yeah, they'll pick a motherfucker, bro. Be on your toes. I don't got no issue with them, man. It don't matter. That's a fact, bro. That's why when they say, yo, you going to a medium? I was happy as hell. Like I don't want, bro. I stay in my boots anyway. What I'm saying is nobody want to have to go through that shit every day, especially when you don't got life. You see what I'm saying? I didn't have life. But I'm around jokers who playing it like that. A dude I knew had 700 years, bro. How do you give a man 700 years? I ain't never seen that in my life. So yeah, I need to get to a medium. Then when I got to these mediums, these be kind of like step down programs. Like Allen Wood is a complex. So you got Allen Wood, the USP. You got Allen Wood, the medium. You got Allen Wood, the low. Then you got Allen Wood the camp. You see what I'm saying? Like me, I went to the USP first. I went there long because I was just coming from USP Canaan. Went to um, USP Allenwood because there was no room in US, the medium 
where I was going. So I had to sit there for like three or four months. I got to meet some good dudes in there. That's where Guy Fisher was at. My fault, Dr. Guy Fisher. There was a lot of good men there. A lot of good men. Then I go over to the medium, that's why I meet Ken Do. I meet that the brother, um, the God, man. Minister. The God minister out of Brooklyn. Ken Do out of Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Jamie out of my man Jamie from Southside, um, Jamaica Queen. I met a lot of good men from New York. The dude who do who do manage the dude, the Cal Dawson dude, I know him. Personally, they got the management company out of, out of ATL. Like these dudes are vouch, like, yo, bro, I see the bond, a good nigga. And I and I and I and I go to bed. Like he done seen me approach niggas. Like I don't need my car. I'ma tell my car I got an issue with a nigga. I'm about to go holler at him. I'ma take I take a couple go like in, I was in Allenwood Medium. I had two goonies. One nigga named Murder from North and my nigga Sharky from Asbury. I'm walking with them two and my nigga Born from Asbury. But other than that, the guards knew who I was from the compound. They stood behind me because they knew I ain't starting no bullshit. So if I had an issue with the motherfucker, I'm going to holler at him. Let's go, let me go holler at this nigga up this hill real quick. What you in here? He on, he on A1 up on, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go up this hill and holler at this nigga real quick. I'm going to check the nigga if I got an issue like that. Or me and at the flagpole. They got, cause every unit's up on like a little hill. The flagpole is where everybody come down to congregate when shit happened then. You could be at the, you could be down there at the flagpole, niggas doing the move. Next thing you know, nigga knives is whipped out, niggas is getting stabbed in the medium. Cause a lot of these niggas is coming from Allenwood Penn too. Like, I was coming from Canaan. Like, a lot of these dudes coming from Pennsylvania, so they come up with that mentality. So these mediums don't be as soft as a lot of these niggas be portraying. Like, niggas that get up here like, these mediums soft. But just what happened, <laughs> I landed this medium. I'm with brothers like Ken Du, who got time in, who been there since 97. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Cal, I ain't going front, that's my nigga. Like, I don't care what he had the beef with 50 and them with Vlad, but Cal, my dude, Cal took a rap for one of my niggas from Jersey. Who you talking about? You said off. he had beef with 50? Like, he said he was in the car when 50 got shot. You know, when he was behind the wall, he wasn't going for shit, though. You see what I'm saying? He was a Southside Jamaican nigga from Queens, and he, he stood on it. I don't watch him approach nigga. I watch him approach nigga from Brooklyn, like, What's, let's do it right here. I'm like, oh, shit, it's about to beat up. And both these niggas, like, they had bangers on them. Broad daylight, I'm dead ass. Niggas can say what they want about him, but I watched him in real life situation and he ain't tuck his tail. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's how these, that's how this bad shit be. Like I said, look, that nigga was from Brooklyn and he was from Queens and they was about, he was about to go up right there, bruh. That's what I'm saying. And within these cards, like I said, you got the burrows, bruh. And you know how that shit be sometimes. It be ego, it be pride. You know what I'm saying? Behind the, the fair wall breed all that. That shit breed, that shit breed that gay shit. That shit breed separation. That shit breed hate. That shit, cause they got, they got you in there where you so divided where you gotta be with your car. You gotta be with these people. You can't be with, that shit is fucked up. So it don't just be some niggas that be like, man, I ain't with none of that shit, man. I'm fucking with my DC nigga over here and that's yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I do, I, I'm like that. Yeah, but, but, but listen though, but what if Jersey and DC get into it? You see what I'm saying now? Yeah. It, 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 that's how that's how tricky this shit is, bro. Everybody be yelling they on man time. But if you on man time, nigga, if you see these two niggas about to get into it, and you my man, and I'm your man, let's kill this beef because it's gonna it gonna start something bigger than this. And sometimes the niggas don't be wanting to do it. They could do it, but niggas just wanting to see how other niggas gonna play it when the war on. And I don't be liking shit like that. Niggas be good. Niggas be getting jammed up. Behind dumb shit, dumb shit, bro. I'm telling you, I don't see niggas. I don't see niggas get done dealt with over a little clear walk, man. Like turning the TV. Like even though they say, you know what I'm saying? I turn TVs in jail. Like I turn the TVs in the fed. And I ain't, I ain't, I ain't care who TV it was. If I was sitting there watching, wasn't nobody there. I was gonna turn the TV. Like when you come, like yo, this the I TV. Respectfully, bro. Like soon we'll just go to the commercial. You can have it. And dudes, most dudes are like, all right, commercial, yeah, I ain't not gonna go off to the commercial, and it's yours. I ain't about to go at it about no TV, bro. The easiest thing you could do, if it ain't that serious, is walk off on a nigga, man. You'll know when it's serious. I ain't never had no serious situations behind the, in the feds like that. I had a couple fights. 
We, I'm about to, yeah, me and you could get at it, nigga. Like, I ain't tucking. And I shook with a few niggas. Like, I shook with a nigga from Providence, Rhode Island. Shout out to my nigga EJ from Providence, but he was a real, real dude. He got it shaking with me. Did he win? No, but he was willing to go in there and run. Why y'all niggas got into it, though? Man, because you know we was cool. And and I'm kind of like a play thing sometimes. And I was on that, I was on that weed heavy, bro. You know, you get off that weed, you get high, you get to playing. So I stop playing. I like, yo, take the toughness out your voice. He's like, I take it out, the, out my voice when we go behind this door and shake. We went behind the door and shake. I tried to put his face in the toilet. Niggas broke it up like, nah, y'all niggas fuck with each other. We shook hands and we was cool right after that, though. But the feds don't breed that shit, bro. That shit could have turned into something ugly. It was just that. I'm, all right, bro, we shook. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I ain't win, he ain't win. That's how we was calling the deck at that. I, but niggas knew how it turned out. Cause I had, I had that close, I had, you know, you know, like Blowfish Sushi after I finished with him. But it was just, you know, ego shit in the stands is where a lot of them stabbings come over. So you gotta surround yourself with good men that don't keep no drama. Like, I'm so, when I see that I know can do, I don't know him from the streets, but I got years with him in, in Allenwood Media, bro. And we walked that track. He, he had the poker table. He got the New York niggas there, but I'm there too. He know I'm, he know I'm a go. He, he used to come, you know, see, go get see Devon. Like, Devon, come walk with me. About to, me and you about to walk the track. Shit like that, bro. You surround yourself with good men. My nigga Money Bass from Baltimore, I'm always going to shout him out. Real good dude. Walk the track with him. Kyle from Queens. And my dude Jamal from Jersey. We walk the track. We spin the, we, you spin. We put our hands together. We ain't coming back to prison. Yeah, I, I surrounded myself with them type of dudes. Like, yo, see, you ain't got to be so wild. Like, I ain't wild, just ain't going for nothing. Like, yeah, but you be addressing shit aggressively. You got to behind this wall. Like, you don't address it aggressively, nigga might still think you a sucker. I grew up on nigga unit, last. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm coming up on the unit, knock on your cell door. I'm not telling nobody to come in here and get you. Like, yo, go get such and such from him, come outside. He might come outside on some bullshit. Like, niggas outside for me? Nah, I'm just walking in the unit, like, I, like I'm on the unit. We already know what sell you, and trust me, I know what sell you. I'm coming right to the door, tap. Yo, what up, though? Yeah, yo, let me holler at you, can I step in? Nigga, yeah, come on. Like, what's up, I thought? I heard you said something. Well, nah, you sure we good? Nah, we good, see, word is bound, I'm glad you came up to we, all right, I'm out. I don't be, I don't be approaching shit like most niggas be, I'm taking my knife up here, nah. I ain't no, I ain't no knife stabber, bro. In my life on the line, yeah. But for the most part, I'm gonna go up here and knuckle up with this nigga. He with, he with me, he with me. If I'm going up here to holler at him about something. I'm this the fans should just breed that hate, bro. That's why I should be, be avoiding my. I was cool with Mexicans. You got you got some Mexicans that tell you, yo, damn, see why everybody not like you, bro. It, it take years of this training, like. See, you got to remember, but I grew up in the nation. So I, I never looked at a Mexican like an outsider. So when you when you know when you know the when you know the truth, bro, I don't I never looked at a Puerto Rican, a Mexican, a Dominican, and none of that like like they was foreigners, bro. Yeah. Like once on the whole East itself, Coast, on the whole East Coast, New York, Jersey, Connecticut, we don't we not we don't do that. That's some penitentiary shit. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So when I'm telling them like, yo, I know Puerto Rican gods. I know gods. Like this, this, this for me is not, no, I know Mexican gods, man. My brother sincere also out of Texas. Mexican, man, full-blooded Mexican. His name is sincere. So I know Mexican brothers. So I'm like, y'all don't look at y'all like that. Like y'all brothers. So when you tell them that, they're like, what? Like, hey, yeah, man, I'm cool, man, I don't got no issue with no Mexican nowhere in, in the world. And they, yo, you wanna, yo, you wanna, um, these burritos? Yo, yo, see, come here, see, no pork, you wanna burrito homes? I'm cool with the essays, man. And there's a lot of blacks that's cool with the essays. It's just that when shit hit the thing, all that shit go out the window, bruh. All that shit go out the window, depending on the situation. It's, yeah, it's, and that's why some on. people, and that's why some people just don't even waste their time getting cool with niggas because. They know when shit hit the fan, niggas gonna have to flip on niggas. Yeah, that's that's cool to do. But you closing yourself in the box, bro. I can't. Because 
when you do shit like that, you get information last. And what I mean by that is if you ain't fucking with nobody outside your car, when y'all get the information, it's gonna get to y'all last. Cause nobody don't fuck with y'all. Yeah. But when you, when you, when they, when they, if you were able to maneuver through these cars and, and be diplomatic, like I'm diplomatic about anything, but unless the disrespect is outright crazy, bruh, anything could be talked out, bruh. You feel me? Cause it usually be about money. It usually gonna be about drugs. It's usually gonna be about some type of hoops. It's never gonna be about nothing with no substance to it, bruh. They gonna try to make it seem that way. He disrespectful, he ain't on man time, he violated the man code. Who's writing this man code, nigga? Who's writing this code that y'all keep talking about? Because the niggas who be at the head of these cars, some of these niggas don't be that diplomatic, bro. They be warriors. They be soldiers. So how a soldier gonna be diplomatic? He don't know no he don't got but one agenda. Seek and destroy. Or they violate it, they get out of here. And, and who you said was, who you said was running the jersey like who was running the jersey car in in the when feds? I, well, depending what compound you go to. I mean, in like Canaan. When, when I was in Canaan, it was Akbar Prey. You see what I'm saying? And when I got the when I got the Allen Wood medium, to me, it was this brother named Ak Moon from from North New Jersey because R.I.P. Ak Moon because he was very very diplomatic. Very diplomatic, like, and he had us behind him. And when I seen, uh, when I seen in this Jersey Con Allenwood medium, it was some real goonies, man, real ones, real ones, with all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? And you no, know, and Akmoon was next in line to be the E man, so he had the Muslims, but he was very humble, bro. But the disrespect would not be tolerated. He was very diplomatic, like nah. He was so humble that it was a dude from Jersey just hit the compound. We had the flagpole. Like, oh, you just got here? Yeah, what size you wear? I wear size eight and a half. Well, these are eight and a half right here. Kick these sneakers off, brand new sneakers off, kick them to him. Like, yo, I'm gonna bring them back when I said, nah, you them yours. You the homie. And walked up the up the hill barefooted, bro. So you gotta know if somebody violate him, we gotta go get him. You see what I'm saying? We gotta go get them. And that's how dudes carry with certain dudes who run the car. Like, if you got a dude at the head of your car that is very, very humble and diplomatic, if motherfuckers violate him, niggas going to get him, bro. That going, that's in every car. But you got some dudes at the cars, but they just so good with handling shit that if a nigga violate him, they gonna have to get you. Hey yo, Brownsville, Brooklyn in the building. You already snowmobile. Know what I mean? Check that new video, BK Panamami featuring the guard LAZ. You heard it's called Don't Ask and it's fire. And I filmed the video. Let's get it. Hey yo, make sure y'all check the first two episodes of my life story, Kids with Guns, on the channel now. You heard I'm working on the third episode, but two episodes is out. So if you ain't see those, you slipping, slacking, and lacking. And that's a fact. Get at me. Z Lord. I'ma change this. I'ma change it. Then that's not what you're gonna do. Hunt Daniel, what you gonna do? You're gonna go out there and you're gonna do something stupid? Cause you know that's not what mommy and daddy work hard for all these years. Oh, what you trying to prove you it's a big shot? Risking your life because we need some money, Daddy? We live in Red Hook Housing Project in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. All we got is the streets. All right. Hey, yo, LAZ, man. Make sure you check this new video out from the bros. Rap P featuring Capital Bash, you heard? This is fire and they talking extra greasy on this. 
Go on their YouTube channel, leave a comment, tell them Z-Man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. Yer. What up? This is Silka. And if you from Brooklyn, New York, and you not watching the St. Lies channel on YouTube, IG, Facebook, Twitter, whatever platform you on, you slipping. Your skirt is showing. Go ahead and get with the pro.